Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Last Train Home, a survival management real-time strategy game set at the end of the First World War where we control a big armoured train, and we have to guide our big armoured train and the occupants of that train home to the newly formed Czechoslovakia, but we are caught up in a bit of a civil war, and also on the way we do have to travel through Siberia, which is quite cold, it's a little bit nippy out in Siberia, so it's not a fun train trip, it's quite a perilous journey we have to go on, and on the way we have to scavenge for supplies, we manage the train, we do some fighting, we heal the wounded. In a way, I suppose it's a little bit like Frostpunk, sort of, in a way. But on rails, Frostpunk on rails, there we go, that's what it's like. But yes, it does look very, very good indeed. Now, this is the demo of the game. The full game is due out on the 28th of November this year, but the demo is on Steam right now as I record this. And as always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description, so you can go and check the game out a little bit more, and also have a go at the demo if it takes your fancy. But anyway, here we go, let's get on with it and go and catch the last train home. During the Great War, later known as World War I, the Czechoslovak Legion was commissioned to fight on Russia's behalf in exchange for support for an independent Czechoslovak Republic. However, the Great War exacted tremendous loss of life and economic collapse in Russia, igniting a revolution that deposed the Tsar and devolved into a bloody civil war. The Bolsheviks established the Red Army to consolidate power and rule over a united Russia, whereas the White Army rallied to oppose the Reds. The Czechoslovak Legion was now in a very delicate position, an armed force in a foreign land with no clear allegiance to the Reds or Whites. Moreover, Russia's western borders were still held by powers opposing the establishment of Czechoslovakia. Thus, the Czechoslovak Provisional Government ordered the Legionaries to remain neutral and travel eastward to Vladivostok to board ships back to Europe. Nonetheless, during its evacuation via the Trans-Siberian Railway, the Legion became embroiled in armed conflicts affecting the course of the Russian Civil War. Now, we learn the story of The Last Train Home, a work of fiction inspired by the writings of a brilliant member of the Czechoslovak Legion and a veritable instrument of history. The story begins with an ambitious captain under the command of Major Gazdik who leads the last unit of Czechoslovak legionaries, headed to Vladivostok by armored train. Cheer up, Captain. The train needs a checkup, and we can be on our way. I heard you bragged you'd be a better major than I am. So, let's see how well you do in command. Let's take a squad and go trade with the local miller, while the rest of the legionaries look after the train. Okie dokie, here we go. So yeah, we do find ourselves in quite a difficult position, both geographically and politically, I would say. So geographically, we are trapped in the middle of Russia. And Russia is very big. It's a very big place, is Russia. So it's going to take us a long time to get out of Russia on our little train there. So that's a little bit of a bother. That's a bit of a nuisance. And then politically, the side that we did support in the recent war, they're gone. Russia is now completely imploding around us. And there are two rival factions vying for control. But we can't side with one faction over the other because if we do the faction that we haven't sided with might get a bit grumpy with that and possibly try to kill us to death a little bit so it's a bit of a tricky situation we find ourselves in but there we go never mind that's what we have to deal with so I think we go and take a look around but before we go and do that we of course have to ask the all-important question is spacebar pause and yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. In fact, spacebar isn't just pause. Spacebar is tactical view. Oh, it's a fancy spacebar is pause mode. Okay, so here's the tactical view. I imagine we use this on a battlefield so we can deploy people into the right places. It looks like it might show us where they can get cover. That looks like a cover point. So you can hide over there and then fire over that fence or whatever. I think that might be what tactical view is doing, but okie doke, there we go. So I think, yeah, let's go and take a look at the train because really the train has got to be the star of the show. It's called Last Train Home, the game. So I think we go and take a look at the train. So let's go to the front of the train and we should have the engine and there it is. There is our lovely train engine and it looks very good. It looks a bit dark, I think. I think we're kind of focused around those characters there. So there's an area around them which is all lit up. And then the further away we get from them, the darker it gets. So I think, yeah, we're kind of out of their field of view over here. So that's why it looks a little bit dark over here. But there we go. Never mind. We can still look at the train. And it's a lovely train. Look at that. It looks very good. Train number 
100.01. Good number for a train. I like that. Couple of lights on the front. Big light at the top. You know, classic ye olde steam train type thing. And yeah, there we go. Looks very good. Got some coal over there to keep it running. That thing... Is that some sort of... This is like a shooty bit of the train. That's like a sort of a military car type thing, isn't it? So I imagine... Yeah, look, there's kind of gun things. So there's a gun thing there and a gun thing there. So I imagine people kind of pop into these domes, look out of those bits there, look out those little slits just there, and then kind of you know, fire at baddies with whatever they do. I don't know what they are. M machine guns or mortars or artillery or whatever. I don't know. But whatever the case, we've got a shooty bit of the train over there. Okay, so shooty bit there. And then we have a little kind of boxcar type thing and another one and another one. So three of those... I imagine we keep, you know, goods and resources in those. And then we've got a little kind of passenger car at the end where I imagine all the people go. Although it might also be a bit of a sort of a medical car, like a field hospital type thing, because it does have a medical symbol on the side. So maybe that's more of our sort of medical area just there. Maybe people just hang out in these. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out as we play, I guess. So what have we actually got to do? Our current goal is to go to the flour mills. And I do quite like that because this game is set in a terrible time of history. So the World War's kind of finished and the world is mourning the loss of millions of people. And it's all very terrible. Everything's all quite bad. But uh, no, we still have to go and get flour because people still need to eat. Because yeah, that's what we have to do. We've got to kind of muddle through. I quite like that. It's not a big dramatic kind of opening. It's a nice kind of gentle but required sort of thing that we have to go and do. We come in peace. Okay, so I think if we unpause time... We've got these four people here. So we've got Antonin Kura, and we've got Maximilian Drap, and we've got Bedrish Kopecki, and we've got Magdalena Zemeka. I might be pronouncing these names all entirely incorrectly because I'm not entirely sure how to do the little kind of accents and hats and things on different letters because we don't have those in English. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce those. But whatever the case, we've got these four people. Also, actually, before we actually start moving them around, um, you can choose to play the game with the authentic languages. So I switched over to English, so I didn't have to kind of keep talking over things when they were doing the voiceovers at the intro and the people chatting at the start and that kind of stuff. It was all in English and voiced in English. But you can, if you want to, have it in the actual proper authentic languages that the people would be speaking in. So they'll be speaking in German and Czech and French and whatever else, which I do quite like. That's quite a nice touch. That's quite a fun thing. But yeah, I switched it to English just because it required less sort of talking over other people chatting away about things. It did sound a little bit kind of strange. So I sort of switched it to English. But yeah, if you can do, you can put it, if you want to, you can put it onto all the different sort of proper languages that the people would be speaking. Right, so let's get you lot over here, look. So move to here. And I mean, where do we go? Where are the flour mills? Let's go to that road over there. Ah, there's a marker there and some fire. Little bit ominous. Ah, right, okay. I suspect maybe the flour mills might not be operating at peak efficiency. Smoke, smoke. That's not good. Hurry up! The mills are destroyed. Fortunately, it seems nobody was around to get hurt. Hurry and collect the sacks with food supplies before they burn too. Oh dear, right. That is not good at all. They're very, very destroyed. Okay, okay. right, so gather food. Okay, so run over here. So you are gathering food. Okie doke. Where is the other food? Do we need to go and look for it? Uh, food collected. 10 out of 20. Okay. Uh, where's the other food? Don't let the food burn. There it is. It's over there. Quickly. Quickly. Go and grab the other food. Because it looks like we don't have much in the way of food. Right. Grab that. War is over. Winter is coming. Who in their right mind would burn a flour mill? We have to talk to the miller. The farmhouse is nearby. Let's go. So yeah, if you do switch it onto the authentic languages, that chappy there is talking Czech, I believe, which I do quite like. It's a nice touch. Right, where is the farmhouse then? There's something over there. There's a little orchard type thing. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can we do anything from there? Can we grab some apples or whatever? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't know where the farmhouse is. Let's go to here, look. And maybe if we go there, we'll get a clue as to where the farmhouse is. Uh, there's some lovely fields of sunflowers going on. That's quite pretty. That's very nice. Is it around here somewhere? Head over to here. Oh dear. Right. This could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? Is that the is that the local farmhouse? 
because that looks a little bit on fire as well. I mean, I'm I'm not a fire person, I'm not a firefighter, but I would say that looks quite on fire, if we're being honest. Do you think this is the Miller's house? If someone is still alive in there, it is our duty to try and help. Oh, okay, right, we've got to go inside and help some people. Okie doke, right, get the gates open. Uh, oh, hang on, somebody, oh, hang on, there's somebody there, there's somebody there, right. Are you here to kill me now? No, ma'am. We are Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. We wanted to buy supplies from your mill, but found it burning. Who did this? Bolsheviks. They demanded we hand over our winter supplies in the name of Lenin. My son refused. We have a family to feed, he said. So they killed him. And the children. You soldiers are all the same. Killing is all you know. Just leave and let me die in peace. If the Bolsheviks wanted food, why did they leave the sacks to burn with the mill? It was never about the food. This is what you get for refusing to collaborate with the Red Army. The Reds who burned this farm may not know we are here, but we can't risk the train. Find a good spot to scout the train track ahead. If there's trouble, at least we'll be ready. Okay, so the Bolsheviks, who I think are the Reds, are one of the two factions who are sort of vying for control of Russia. Um, yeah, this game isn't exactly a jolly happy game, is it? It's a little bit bleak, but you know what? It kind of reflects the time period. Uh, I mean, yeah, do you want to look around here? Is there anything we can find? It says over here, yeah, wandering around might reveal things. So, I mean, yeah, is there anything that we could possibly stumble across? If we look over here, any more food or, I don't know, bullets or whatever? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Right, okay, so scout the train track, it said. Ooh, pumpkins. Oh, we can make some jack-o'-lanterns. That'll be fun. Right, okay, so uh, where is... Oh, get to the vantage point, it says. Uh, where is the vantage point? Whereabouts is that? Oh, it's all the way over there. So bring a scout over here. Oh, right, they're different roles. Okay, so you're a scout, you're a rifleman, you're a machine gunner, and you're a medic. Okie doke. So if we put all of you over here, for example, go and stand over there. Ooh, there's a thing. Cloth. A bag of cloth. Okay, if we all stand over here, look, somebody go and retrieve that. Good job. Okay, 50 cloth. Might come in useful at some other point. Another building a little bit. I mean, okay, it was on fire. Not on fire now, but there we go. Right, and then, Scout, you need to come up here. Look, hang on. Do we need to get all of our people a bit closer? Let's get all of you lot a little bit closer. So come over here, look. Pop over here and just reveal a bit more of this. What's happening over here? There's a building that isn't on fire. Hooray, some sort of church, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Oh yeah, there's a graveyard. So I assume that's like a little tiny church of some kind. Right, if we go... I mean, yeah, can we do that? Does that put them into cover? With binoculars to that ledge. A scout. Now, Captain. All right, all right, I'm on it. Good grief, I was just getting safe over here. Right, so you're the scout. So we put you onto this ledge over here, which is overlooking the track. So where's the train? The train is all the way, oh crikey, all the way down there. It's got to come past a road, past a few fields, and then past, yeah, this point here. Okay, so you go over there. So Maximilian, you run over here, hide out on the ledge and look around. It's the Reds who killed the Miller's family and burned everything. They deserve to die. Stand down, soldier. The Red Army will answer for crimes against their own country folk, but not to us. We are still in Russian lands and have a long way ahead of us. We don't want to be making enemies. Not to mention causing diplomatic incidents that endanger our new republic. <sighs> Enough chatter. Get back to the train. Maybe we can find more supplies on the way. Okay, so there are the bad guys, but we're not going to get involved. We're not going to get involved with them at all because we don't have to. We don't need to get involved with them. If they attack us, we'll defend ourselves, but we just want to go home. That's what we want to do. We want to go home to our brand new country that's just kind of appeared, and we don't want to cause any problems. So, okie dokie. Now, where were they? Uh, were they all the way over here? Were they down here somewhere? They were quite a long way away. Right, so you go back over here and join your fellows... Um, and then, yeah, turn your mission, move your soldier to an exit area. So, move to the exit area near the train. Okay, so we've got to go all the way back over here, have we? 
We've got to go all the way back. Good grief. Okay, that is quite a long way. Uh, are there any other things lying around that we could possibly pick up? Is there anything over near that building? Oh, what's that? There's some food. There's some food over there. Okay, yeah, run over here. Oh, yeah, it was in the orchard, look. It was in the orchard. So there's some food. Can we see any other resources? Is there anything else that we can go and pick up? Just haven't seen action for a while. How about some target practice on the scarecrows? Oh, okay. Seems a bit mean, but okie doke. Right, all of you come back over here then. We're going to go and shoot at some scarecrows. Because, you know, to make the farming situation even worse, we're going to kill the things defending the crops. Yay, go us. Right, so you, I assume we just right click. Okay, so anytime you like, boom, there we go. We're going to destroy three scarecrows. Crows. They're stuffed witches. <laughs> Watch out for Baba Yaga. The mother of all witches. Less talking, more shooting. Okay, yeah, Major Gazdik, I think it's pronounced, is absolutely right. Come on, let's just get on with it. You lot are kind of, you know, monkeying around and being silly, but we have got a job to do. Uh, right, where was that food? That food was... Oh, yeah, there. Right, so if we run into here, we can grab that food. And then... Uh, where are the other scarecrows? Where are they? Are they oh, hang on. Oh, no. Okay, it's a scarecrow target. It's not an actual person target. Everything is fun. The music got very dramatic then for a second, and I thought we were under proper attack. But no, if we run through here, we got anything we can pick up from around here? Any kind of resources? No. Right, so if we kind of go over here. So you did the fighting, did you? Uh, you, scout face, fire at that thing over there. You should be able to get a good shot on it because you're a scout. There you go. That's a... Uh, that didn't take long, did it? Okie doke. And the final one, oh, there's a couple over here. Okay, so if we go, ah, there's the exit area. So if we go over here, and then if we just, yeah, cross the tracks, and then we'll get you. Was it you that didn't shoot at one before? I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. You can do that, and then the medic can pick on... Take that, Baba Yaga. Yeah, there you go. You take that, Scarecrow. Yeah, we'll have you. Oh, okay, no, we're done, I think. I think we're done. And that's one of our people, I think. That's one of the kind of train guards. Right, anything around here we can go and pill for? I don't think there is. I don't think there is anything left for us to go and grab. So let's go over here. So go to the exit area. So we've completed our mission. We legionaries leave no one behind. Bring the whole squad here before giving the command to leave. Okay, we're all in the thing. So now we can all go. So here we go. Four squad members in the exit area. We can leave. Yes, please. We're done here. We're all done. Let's see where we go next. I assume we get on the train and have a little kind of journey down the tracks. That'd be quite fun. Victory! Your brave and resilient soldiers successfully completed all the main objectives. Yes, they were very brave and resilient while running around, looking at things on fire, not shooting an old woman, taking some food, and then shooting some scarecrows. Oh, they were so brave and resilient. Those scarecrows were very scary. They were witches, apparently. So, okay, you know, so that's all done. So continue. Uh, ah, and we pick up various kind of things. So 200 combat roll XP. So are our people leveling up? Oh, that's quite good. Oh, we got loads of XP. Got loads of XP. We got 500 XP for shooting some scarecrows. Seems a little bit mean, but okie doke. cry. Right, so continue with that. And we picked up 30 food and 50 cloth. Okay, no, no ammo used. We didn't pick up any equipment and we didn't use any equipment. Okay, right, so leave this. So now where do we go after this? The journey begins. As you and the others board the train empty-handed, not true. We came back with food and cloth. How very rude. A discussion ensues about the recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You are lost in thought about the experience of being in command. Major Gazdik grabs you by the shoulder, snapping you out of it. Okie dokie. Major Gazdik says, you did well, Captain, but you should stop bragging and start playing the role you hoped for. Today, you learn the bread and butter of commanding. Things will never go the way you imagine. And then, ah, that's one of our soldiers, wasn't it? Were you the scout? We shouldn't have just let the Reds leave. They should pay for their actions. Killing people, stealing and destroying food. And then the medic says, our provisional government said we should avoid conflicts. We cannot go around passing sentences as we see fit. We need to follow orders. I'm kind of with her. I'm with her on this. Just, you know, get out, get out of the way. Stay out of the way of trouble. Get back home. Let this country that we're in deal with their own kind of internal problems. We don't want to make things worse or whatever. I'm with her on that one. The situation was affected because Maximilian Drap has the trait intelligent. Oh, 
So they've all got their own little kind of individual traits and things. Look what they do to their own people. What do you imagine they'll do to us when we actually face them, considering we are a sizable military force in their country while civil war is brewing? Okay, we have to be neutral. We are soldiers and we need to follow orders. Or think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians. So we have to be neutral. We are soldiers and we need to follow orders. We don't want to make things even worse. The situation is already quite precarious. Let's not kind of you know, push it off a ledge and make it fall. So yeah, be neutral, please. Either way, I bet they would scatter if we face them. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. They'd be thrilled to see us there. I bet they'll tell everyone how Czechoslovak legionary shot an honest miller and his family, burned the mill, and left the food to be destroyed. Oh, you big pessimist. Shall we proceed to Moscow then as planned, or are we expecting trouble? We'll go to Moscow to pick up my future advisor, Captain Langer. He is currently working to negotiate our safe passage to Vladivostok. Okie dokie. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Indeed, speaking of fruit, since we didn't manage to replenish our supplies, we'll stop at the next station to do so. Dismissed. We bought back food. We bought back food. How rude. Was I supposed to click on things? Was I supposed to click on the food we bought back and the cloth to kind of transfer it somewhere? Um, okay, okay, that's not great, is it? We bought back some food. We did game, I promise. Okay, so dismissed. So imagine that ends our little sort of a little chat type thing here. And now we've got to go to Sukinichi, which is a very exciting name. Okay, to get more supplies. Okie doke. Oh, so now we have a bit of a world map going on. Oh, and the train's on its, on its way, look. There is the train. Oh, crikey, hang on, hang on. Pause time for a second, pause time. So we have high up view of the world and we can look around so there's moscow there uh, might be a bit fighty over there of course and then we're over here so that's where we started no idea what's over there and then we can zoom in a bit more down to train level so there it is so there's the lovely train and then i think can we zoom in again? We can zoom in to kind of individual carriage level oh so people are in these carriages People are actually sleeping in these. They're not just for use for, you know, moving goods around and boxes and crates and things. That one is. But these have got actual people in. Oh, well, there you go. That's quite exciting. A lot of people live in that one. My goodness me. And two people live in that one. You two are quite lucky. You've got your own kind of private quarters. Everyone else crammed in here. Dearie me. Um, okay, 16,000 storage capacity. And then, yeah, there we go. Look. Machine gun posts, they are machine guns, so shooty gun things, okie doke, and a couple of people driving the train. Wonderful, so uh, locomotive strength 5 out of 9, so if we just get time ticking on, do we have to, do we do anything? What does that do? Uh, that makes us go quicker. Right, so that's fine. So how do we know if we, oh, hang on, am I doing my best? God, I hope not. So the people are all kind of having little chats. Six soldiers are not doing anything. Uh, oh! You can kind of, hang on, squads must be deployed to explore points of interest. But it looks like as well, we can get people to do things on the train. So if we wanted to put somebody into here, for example, hang on, there's somebody, hang on, there's a cannon post and a machine gun post. Are they two different types of shooty gun? I think they might be. One is a cannon and one is a machine gun, but I think we should put some people into there. Let's put some people into there because if we do get attacked at some point, we're going to feel a little bit silly, aren't we? Having not sort of assigned somebody. Do we drag you over or what? How do we, how do we assign you? Oh, we click that bit and not the portrait. Okay, so you can work the day shift over at the machine gun post. And then on the night shift, you can do that. Um, oh, he's got other activities on the train. Oh, he works on the machine gun. He works... Hang on, what? Do you work on... Hang on, I'm confused. You work on the... Oh, you're stoking. Sorry, right, I get it. Do you have anything else to do? You stoke... You, you're on the cannon post. Anybody else? There we go. Oh, Maximilian Drab, one of the people we had out with us. Okie doke. Right, so two people over there then. So now the cannon thing is also armed, which is good. So I think we don't want to stop. Do we want to stop? I don't know. Do we want to stop? Are we at a point of interest? I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, we're nearly at that place with the amazing name. So do we tell them to stop? Or I don't really know. I know, we're stopping automatically because it's part of what we have to do. Okay, a fateful encounter. The train stops dozens of metres before the station. There is another train blocking your path. As you and the others exit the train, you are meeting with grave silence and a few rifles aimed in your direction from near the station. Toward you, 
a tall red army officer is walking, accompanied by two soldiers. Oh dear, this could be bad. Greetings, legionaries. My name is Adam Morozov, who is in command of your unit. Uh, Major Gazdik steps off the train and shakes Morozov's hand firmly. You glimpse of the hand resting on the hilt of his trench knife, a sure sign he smells trouble, and you know he is rarely wrong. Oh dear. Right, we might have a spot of bother on the go. Uh, Major Ottokar Gadzik, I'm in command of this train. To what do I owe the pleasure, General? Morozov looks, uh, betrays a look of mixed amusement and satisfaction, evidently unsure if the Major's recognised his rank by the insignia on his uniform, or through his reputation as a hero of the Great War. A mere coincidence, I was visiting family nearby. Nonetheless, our encounter is most fortunate, as I have a proposition, one of mutual interest. What do you want, Morozov? Do tell I'm all yours. Indeed, that's what it should be, uh, my friend, because it's in my power to ensure safe passage through Russia. That is what you want, is it not? All you need to do is hand over your weapons. I see that being a little bit of an issue. Give up our weapons? To you? I don't think so. You'd probably use them to shoot us and then burn the entire station to the ground. You are not the first legionaries to pass through here. Your countrymen handed over their weapons without incident. For your soldiers' sake, do as you do as I ask, or you will regret it. Um, I think he's going to say no. Oh, I'm sure you intend to let us be on our merry way, completely unscathed, with a full belly and a happy heart. I said my piece, General. Start shooting and get out of our way. It's your choice. Okay, he doesn't take any messing, does he? He does not mess around. Okie doke. Uh, Morozov stares silently at Gazdik. A few legionaries shift uneasily and unsling their rifles, which until now have been shoulded despite the obvious threat. Then Morozov slowly raises his hands and smiles. There is no hint of deception in his expression. He seems at ease, almost pleased. I appreciate your candor, Major. I think we both know where we stand. Until we meet again. Oh, I thought we were going to have a great big kind of shootout there. With a polite nod, Morozov turns away, and followed by his soldiers, he boards the Red's train and departs. Everyone is a bit rattled. The departure of the train reveals the station. There, a disaster. Oh, okay, so start the mission. So we need to get some more supplies. Uh, ah, we get to pick a squad. Oh, this is good. Uh, and there's only three that we can choose from? What happened to our fourth one? Oh no, because I put him into the train, didn't I? He was doing something. Uh, so yeah, you. Oh, hang on a minute. You, you, and you. We're down to three people. Um, okay, hang on. All soldiers. Who did we have before? We had the scout, didn't we? With the um, with the sniper. You, Maximilian. You assigned to the squad. Absolutely. You can come along because you were quite good. Uh, no combat roles. Right. Oh, hang on. You've got a combat role. You're a rifleman. Uh, I think for now we'll take the four we had before because I know what we're doing with those. So confirm them and then deploy them. Difficulty is one skull. That's always not ominous, isn't it? Yay, how's the difficulty measured? Is it numbers one to five? No, it's in how many skulls there are, because skulls are a lovely visual representation of difficulty. That's always fun, isn't it? Yay, so it's only one skull. Only one person had to have their head chopped off to represent the difficulty there. Very good. And we might get a new soldier, might get some XP, fuel, cloth, and food. And it's going to cost eight power, possibly. Uh, I don't know how much of that we have. Artillery strike will be available. Oh, is that because we have people kind of in the thingamabob, in the train ready to do their jobs? Oh, that's quite good. Right, okay, so, deploy. Something's wrong. It's too quiet here. Move out, but keep your eyes and ears open. Okay, so where are the locals? What's going on? Why is it really weirdly, eerily quiet? I don't like it. Look around for the locals. I mean, can we go in buildings? I'm not in touch. I think, I think... We all run behind that cover there, because that could be quite useful. Is anybody over here, maybe? Can we all take cover? Boop, boop, boop. That's good. Um, okay, that all looks fine. Is there anybody... Oh, hang on. Can we get... We can't get in this... Can't we get in that house? I want to be, like, in that fence. Okay, go to here, look. Run over here. Use cover. There's... Right. There's Odin. Right, okay. I see what's happening here. The Red Army... Aren't very nice people. Oh, they're, ah, they're, there were people here all along and I didn't see them. Okay, right. This is, this is quite bad. Okay, I suspect maybe the locals aren't feeling at their best right now. They're not going to be up for having a nice chat, I think it's fair to say. Can we investigate that body? No. 
We don't seem to be investigating the bodies. Some of the villagers alive. I think they need help. Where? Oh, over here. Over here. Oh, hang on. Who are you? Uh, select. Ah, you're a medic. We hop over the wall. That's good. Select a medic and help the civilian. Okay, so we've picked up a new medic. So Alzbeta Virabalova um, is helping the civilian there. How do we do that then? Use the heal skill. Oh, hang on. Heal skill. Go. There we go. You do that there. Ready and primed to do some firing if anything comes from that direction. If anything comes from that direction, we're in trouble. But over here, we're looking pretty good. Right, so heal up our civilian here. Hopefully, there we go. Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. Can you tell us what happened here? The Red Army came for recruits and provisions. We told them to leave, but they just laughed and took whatever they wanted. They killed everyone who resisted. We saw trucks full of artillery shells driving towards the river. My sister lives there. I'm worried sick. Please, help. We came here to trade for supplies, not to get involved in Russian affairs. But the Reds attacked us before, and they are clearly up to no good here. We simply cannot risk the train. So we have to go and find out what is going on. Looks like they sabotaged the bridge. We'll have to fix it to cross. You can find tools and materials in a nearby camp. Right over there. Okay, so now we are getting involved because they might possibly use those artillery shells and things on our train, which would be bad. Right, okay, you hop over here and get that. There's a medical kit over there and you're a medic. So that makes sense you have that. Uh, right, is there anything else that we can pick up from here? Are there any things? Uh, anything over there? Any food or whatever? Because yeah, we might happen across a few bits and bobs. This is all a little bit morbid, isn't it? Because, you know, there's quite a few dead people around. But there we go. That's kind of what's happened. That's why we don't like these guys. Let's run into here. Because there might be things in here that we can't see. There's, you know, barrels and various other bits and bobs. There might be something of use in here, maybe. Uh, Legionaries escorted to the exit area. Uh, oh, are we supposed to escort somebody to the exit area? Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Are we? I don't know. Repair? Oh, yeah. Acquire the repair kit, which is... Where was that then? That was up. I need to zoom out a bit more. That was... I don't know where it was. That was potentially somewhere where I don't know where it is. Where's the repair kit? Uh, I thought it was up on a kind of like a hillside or something, but I cannot see where that is at all. Hang on. If we click that, does it help? If we click that, does it help? No. Right. Uh, where's that little camp? There's a little camp. Oh, hang on. Is it up here? Oh, it's going to be up here, isn't it? Okay, right. Run up this way. Maybe try and get undercover over there just in case there's somebody up in that building. So take cover over here and then we can get a bit fighty if we need to. Hopefully we won't need to, but there we go. So come up here and how are we looking? Have we got all five of you? Yes. Okay, so a couple of medics coming with us. This is good news. And everything looks okay. Hang on. I can hear shooting. Hang on. We sh There's baddies. There's bad guys. There's bad guys. We're shooting at bad guys. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Everybody come down here. Take some cover. These guys are... Yeah, they're the bad guys, but they're just kind of standing around not fighting us you are a militia officer okay they didn't fight back i feel like we just did a bad thing i feel like we did a bad bad thing but okay right let's run up here because we need to get some resources from here to fix a bridge and it was on the other side of that tree i think oh me seems to hold a good defensive position with full cover if we don't have the range or grenades we'll have to storm their position Okay, I don't think we have any grenades. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, come back over here. So hide over here in cover. Get in cover. Uh, hang on, pause time, pause time. I, I like that. Tactical view ahoy. Right, you, scout, you should be able to get a few good shots on you, hopefully. But we do have select rifleman and use the bayonet charge skill. Uh, okay, you the rifleman. Uh, you are the machine gunner. Are you, you're a... Are you the rifleman? You're a grenadier. You're a medic. You're a scout. I don't think we have... I don't think we have a rifleman. I, I think we didn't bring one with us. 
which possibly in hindsight is a little bit of a problem. Um, yeah, we haven't got a rifleman. I don't think we've got that particular ability anywhere. Uh, no, we have got grenades. We have got grenades. However, let's hope our scout can do some good shooting. So the scout's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of gunfire going on. Don't think we've hit them yet, but hopefully yeah, the scout should be able to get them. But grenadier, throw a grenade. Maybe if we throw it there, that might take them out. So are we good? You're going to run forward. Stand out in the open. You're full. Right, you lob a grenade in. You need to get back under cover pretty sharpish. The grenade will take effect. And boom, there we go. Right, we've sorted that out with a little bit of explosives. Lovely. Love some explosives. Right, that's all fine. Okay, run to here. Run to here. Again, taking cover in case anybody's over there. Anything going on? Anything happening? There's the little camp, and there's... Oh, there's a wounded soldier over there. Right, so I think if we keep running from cover to cover, we should be okay. So run over here, look. Just keeping cover, just in case there are nuisances. Crawling with reds. We should consider remaining undetected for as long as possible. Just please make sure no one fires by accident. Gunshots are not very stealthy. Okay, so how do we do silent mode? It says I use silent mode to move silently. Ah, there. Silent mode. So instead of just right clicking, we press Y and then move you around. Is that correct? No. Okay, hang on. Press Y. Uh, hang on. Press. Hang on. No. Is that on now? Silent mode is now on. Oh, there we go. Now they move around significantly slower, but they're kind of all creeping around. And I imagine they're not now going to take pot shots of people if they're nearby. Okay, right, that's good. We have to come over here, look. If we come over here, if we kind of make our way over to this part of the world, can we do a silent kill on you? Who is going to do that then? So hang on, you lot all line up. Uh, I mean, I see the scout as being our kind of stealthy person. So if we then go and do... Um, Hang on, what's that? Right, that one detected. Oh, to pull a silent kill. So we'll creep up on you and do a bit of a stealth attack. Here we go. So get down to ground level. In comes the scout very quietly. Creeping along and boop. There we go. That's not very nice, but okay. I suppose they were being a bit mean to people. Right, you hide out over here. There are some other people over there. That's also where the repair kit is. So you lot. Shuffle up to go with your buddy. There's a, a wounded soldier there, but there are two guys here. The only thing is, I'm not into... Hang on a minute, hang on. Where is... Where's Captain Grenade Pants? Because that would be quite good. If we could get a grenade in over there, that would be fantastic. All of you hop over here. Um, We've just gone into tactical view. I didn't tell them to go into tactical view. Oh, hang on, it's telling us about it. You can check important information and plan the next steps. Okie doke, that's good. Yeah, we sort of knew that. That's fine. Right, everybody get down there. Right, Um. yeah, Captain Grenade Pants. Get over here, chuck a grenade. Just, hang on. Maybe if you get to there, can you get in cover over there if you're still being a sneaky boy? So you creep over here. Not bothering to remain too sneaky. Right, and then chuck a grenade just there. I think you should be able to do it pretty much immediately. Get back under cover. Now that the nasty business is done, let's see how bad the situation is. Okay, so they're taken out. I thought maybe they'd like to see the grenade and run away, but maybe they weren't looking for the grenade or whatever. I think that's kind of it. So all of you go and stand in the middle. Uh, somebody pick up the repair kit. That would be useful. Um, anybody? Pick up the repair kit? Somebody? There we go. Right, good job. We've got what we need to repair the bridge now. Okay, now it says heal the wounded soldier. So is that, is that you? Or is that you? So that's like a healing station. Okay, so if you go over there, do you just heal up automatically from this? I don't know what it is. Has it got medicines in? Is it full of like antiseptic wipes or whatever? I don't know, but okay, a healy thing. Wonderful. Right, now we have to go over here and, yeah, use the thing on the bridge. Who got the kit? Who got the thing? I think it was you, wasn't it? It was Captain Grenade Pants. Okay, Captain Grenade Pants, run over here 
and try to fix that bit of bridge. Uh, I mean, it's still not going to get us across the other side. There's a bit of a gap there, but okay, so you work on that. Do a little bit of woodwork. Oh, okay, no, it's all sorted. There's a watchtower around. We should capture it to get a better view of the surrounding area. Oh, they're full of good ideas, aren't they? Right, okay, so get to the watchtower and establish control. There is one over there. Is there somebody in it? Uh, I don't know. No, there is not. Okay, so I think... I think we can make a good run pretty much right over here. Just run pretty much straight to there. Uh, we'll check if anybody's down the road or whatever. I don't think there is. I keep thinking that's people. I keep looking thinking, oh no, there's somebody there. But uh, it's uh, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. Everything's fine. Right, how do we get up here then? So stay inside the area to capture the tower. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The symbols over there. Oh, bad things. Okay, bad things over there. Right, so you lot come over here. We'll slowly capture this because we're in the area. Stay inside the area to capture the tower. Uh, I mean, for how long? How long do we stay in the area? You, do you want to go up to the top? Do you want to have a little look up at the top? Oh, no, no, hang on. No, 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 no. Go to the, go to the, no, not there. Come back this way, you buffoon. At the top of the tower. Stay inside the area to capture the tower. We are inside the area. Is there a button to press? Oh, we have to come out of silent mode. Okay, like that does make sense. So now we're trying to capture this thing actively and not be sort of sneaky and quiet. Okay, that's fine. So those must be the trucks used to transport artillery shells. We must stop them. There's nothing a grenade can't stop. Let's just make sure we're not too close when they explode. Okay, so now it's telling us about grenades, but we have used up two of our grenades already. I don't know if we have any more. Have we got... Hang on. Did we just find another person? Was there somebody else around? We appear to have another grenadier. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Oh, hang on. We've got... Are you our buddy as well? You're a Legion soldier too. Hang on a minute. There's one of our buddies over there. Hello, my friend. Oh, this is good. Uh, right. Chuck a grenade just there so right fire incoming and then maybe run away a little bit run away into the sunflowers over there that's a big explosion trucks blown up gold medal for us that bridge looks perfect for an ambush we should not proceed until we figure out what could await us on the other side does anyone have binoculars i don't know do we have binoculars? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should go and find some. So, recon the area beyond the bridge. Although, now we're picking up more people. The, sc ah, the scouts have binoculars. Okay, you're a, you're a scout, Oak. You know, right, hang on. Where is everybody? All of our people are getting kind of all sort of disparate and far apart. All of you go and stand by this fence. All of you have a little sort of lie down by the fence. Just to make sure you have at least some vague form of cover. Where's everybody else? Right, you're all making your way down here. Right, scouty boy over there. Go and pick up. Well, hang on, no, not you. No, stop, stop, stop. No point you having that because they're explodey things. Uh, you, you haven't got that many grenades left. So you go and pick up that grenade. That's going to be handy. So there you go. You can stock up on that. Wonderful. Do we need to go in here? Is there anything we can kind of scavenge or pick up in there? I don't think there is by the look of it. Right, so ignore that. I think... We come down, yeah, go there, look. Go there, hide in the field by this kind of burnt out little, don't know, car, truck type thing, whatever that might be. Uh, you can't fit here, so you go there, you hide there, and then get Scouty McScouterson, and um, yeah, you go and look over, oh crikey, over here. So let's scout and use the recon skill. Uh, I mean, you have got to go... Oh, okay, it just shows up by magic. You don't have to go over there, you use your binoculars. Oh, you don't, right, so what's over here then? Oh, they know we're here. They'll be coming for us. Let's set up the machine gun and give them hell. A machine gun? Oh, hang on, now there's a timer. Deploy the machine gun before any enemies arrive. What machine gun? Is there a machine gun? There's a machine gun, okay. Move the machine gunner here. Do we have the machine gun? Yes, thankfully we've got the machine gunner. And use the focused fire skill. Okay, so put them, hang on, move them here. So you get over there 
I kind of feel like everybody else should also come along a little bit. So maybe just bring a few of you other ones over. Possibly bring a medic over. That might not be too bad a call. Uh, grenadey boys, that'll be good. Chuck some grenades at people. Um, yeah, okay. So move you lot over here for now. So you're all going to come in. So some of you are here. There's a space. There's not space there, look. Don't want to put anybody there. They're facing the wrong way. Right, this isn't great. Right, now you use the focus fire skill. Right, so then we just... Fo oh, focus it. Oh, down there. Okie doke. Right, so now in 46 seconds. Ah, here we go. Here they come. Stand your ground. Right, okay. Bad guys on the way. They realise where we are. Oh, there's quite a lot of the right machine gunner. Do some machine gunning. rat a tat a tat Right, all of you lot keep shooting at them. Oh, crikey, is it a lot of shooting happening. Right, guys at the back, they're running away. They're running away. The rest of them are not stupid enough to come at us after watching their buddies buy on the bridge. So let's call in an artillery strike and make those bastards pay for their crimes. Naughty word, dearie me. Okay, right. Everyone loves fireworks. Right, hang on. Use the artillery strike. Uh, how do we use an artillery strike? Uh, oh, here. Artillery strike against large enemy groups. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the commander's there. Why don't we just kind of target... Oh, hang on a minute. Are you all bad guys? Yeah, you're all bad guys. Okay, so if we drop an artillery shell, say, there, that's got to be quite good. Ooh, oh, it's from here. It's from the train. Good job, train. Right, and boom. Look at her blow. We came here to get supplies for our journey. Let's get them and leave this place. I feel bad taking the supplies. The Reds must have stolen them from the villagers. The villagers are dead. And we will be too if we don't get moving. Okay, so we need to go over here and pick up 100 cloth and 20 coal and also maybe some ammunition. Okay, so everybody come over here, look. You can undo your focus fire thing because you need to come with us as well. I'm not going to leave you behind, because that would be silly. Uh, ah, right, there's loads of things over here. Right, so I go and grab cloth from over here, and we'll just pick up various bits and bobs. There's some food over there in that field. That's going to be good. You run around and grab that. We can use cloth for uniforms and blankets. We'll be headed deep into Siberia, and... And winter is coming. Carry on. Winter is coming. They should use that in something else. Right, and then go over there, pick up that fuel. Coal. Good. Fuel is the most precious resource on our journey. Isn't food our most precious resource? Oh, of course. At the next depot, we should buy a locomotive that runs on berries. <gasps> Maybe we can also burn berries to keep warm on the train as we cross Siberia. Oh, very funny. Yep. Okay, yeah. Coal we need for the train to move. Got it. Uh, there is a bit of food over there, so we'll send you over there. I thought you were our scout for some reason, but no, you're not. But okay, you're doing a good job. Right, so go and grab some food. That's going to be good. And what else? Right, hang on. Is that more fuel over there? I'm assuming there are no more people. I'm going to assume there's no more people. So you can just run around and pick up all the stuff. Bit more food over here. Bit more cloth over there. And I think that will be us done. Right, so run over here. Grab that. And that should be, I think, it. Oh, no, hang on. Find ammo. Uh, where do we go for ammo? I missed the ammo. There must be ammo somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Is it all the way up here? Maybe. Oh, uh, that's the X area. Find ammo. Where do we Where do we look for ammunition game? I'm not 100% sure. Is it? We're going to have to go up here. Let's look up here because there is a bit up here that we haven't explored yet. So maybe it's over here somewhere. And there it is, a big old box of rifle ammo. Okie doke, we will have that, thank you very much. So you run over and grab that, or somebody grab it. There we go. So you pootle over, you are the rifleman, that makes sense. Ammo behind must be very proficient with the bayonet. Well, if my machine gun runs out of ammo, it's dead weight. I just call for artillery support. And I think that might be it. I think that is it. So now we can go over here and we go to the exit area and we wrap things up. I don't think there's any... Hang on, hang on. Is there any food? Any more food? Can I just... Secretly lying around? I don't think there is. 
I think we found the secret bit of food over there. So yeah, okie doke, fine, pop over here into the exit area. And I think as well, that'll return those three people. Wonderful. Well, the squad members are in, they're going away to I don't know, go and do something else. And that's it. We are done. I think we can leave the mission area and go back to the train. Okay, we have a bit here that says assign medals. What do we do with that? A medal grants extra XPs to the selected soldier. Oh, uh, okay. Let's give some to you because you might level up. You have leveled up. You might level up. And uh, I don't know you. You did some good shooting. So you can have a medal as well. And we've used all three. So I'm sorry, Joseph. You'll have to go without this time. I do apologize. Um, and there we go. They've leveled up. I don't know what we do with that. Do we choose something for them? I'm not sure. Loads of XP going everybody's way. And okay. So there is the loot. So yeah, we don't have to do anything with it. We don't sort of have to move it over to an inventory or move it to the train or whatever. It's just kind of stuff that we've picked up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Let's leave here and go back to the train, I guess. Back on the train, the soldiers discuss the confrontation with Morozov at the station, as well as the violence the Reds enacted against unarmed villagers. Most, though not all, feel the artillery strike on the Reds encampment was justified. Mayor Gadzdik is lost in thought. I think the Reds are expecting us, setting a trap, perhaps. What I don't understand is why, and why now? Isn't Captain Langer conducting negotiations in Moscow? He is, but we don't know the outcomes of these negotiations. Everyone, get to your post. I have letters to write, and the train is not going to get us to Moscow by itself. Dismissed. And there we go. So now a new quest begins. Storm on the horizon. Go to Moscow to meet with Langer, who will serve as an advisor. And those people we kind of rescued and healed up, they've now joined us. So they can take a seat on the train, which is lovely. So yeah, we've got these three. So we've got a scout, a medic, and a grenadier. We've picked up some various bits and bobs, sniper rifles and revolvers and a short rifle. Oh, okay, no, wonderful. So three new people, welcome aboard. I mean, the sleeping accommodation isn't great. It's not like a you know, luxury five-star hotel or whatever, but it's better than sleeping on the floor or whatever. So yeah, it's, it's okay. It will do the job. And you get to go on a fun train ride. Yay for a fun train trip. Oh, look at that. I think because we're playing the demo, the train has been quite extensively upgraded. So if we look over here, look, the actual train has all those upgrades. It's got an improved boiler and sturdy heat pipes and brick arch support and everything else. And if we kind of go over here a bit, we can see the artillery car has got six out of six upgrades done. And I assume it means that's complete. You know, it can take six upgrades and it has the six it can hold. Over here, look, 10 out of 11, 13 out of 14 for those just there for the infantry cars, 18 out of 19 upgrades for the hospital car. So I think, yeah, because we're playing the demo, the game has been quite generous in giving us lots of lovely kind of treats to make the train a bit better. I was looking at maybe figuring out how to upgrade the train, but I can't see how we do it. I can't see how we upgrade the train. So maybe it's something we can't do yet. Maybe it's a thing that we can't do right now. It's not in the demo. It's not in this part of the demo. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. So yeah, we have got quite an extensively upgraded train, which is going to help us out a bit, I imagine. But you know what? I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now with our little look at Last Train Home. I think we've had a very good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And it's a bit sort of frost punky in a way, although we haven't seen any snow yet, but you kind of do have that survival aspect. You've got to kind of you know, keep your people alive under great kind of odds against all the odds. People are starving and all that kind of stuff and getting ill and whatever. So you have to keep your people alive. But there is a bit of RTS to it. It's sort of part looking after your train in this bit here. So part managing this and then part RTS, run around the map and find things and look at things and do shooting and, you know, get your people in under cover and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of got that sort of real time strategy element as well. I thought it was going to be more on this side, more on the kind of train management side of things and less RTS, if I'm honest. But you know what? That's OK. That's how the game works. And yeah, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, I kept getting interrupted in my chatting away by all the different things, by the people coming along to speak to us. That's OK. That's fine. The people are chatting. And they're giving us exciting things or being hilarious, sort of. But um, but yeah, I did quite enjoy this. It's been a different sort of, a different thing to play. A different thing to play. But with that same sort of, bleak, desolate kind of vibe that Frostpunk does have, 
it feels a bit like that, but you're not in a sort of a snowy, frost punky world, but it does have that kind of, you know, everything's all kind of going badly and we're just sort of muddling through as best we can. We're in a bad situation and we have to try the most of it. Sort of, it's one of those kind of things. It's that sort of thing. So it does feel a bit frost punky in that way, but, uh, but yeah, with more sort of, yeah, with RTS kind of elements going on to make sure you pick up resources and deal with all the kind of things that happen as you go along on the train. But there we go. Yeah, I think we'll finish things up for now. I think we are at a pretty good point to leave it, just leaving our kind of second station so that does make kind of a bit of sense hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time i really hope i don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because i would feel like a terrible person hello robot and i shall call you alan still some homeless people Still hungry people, still sick people. Okay, if you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop.